Hey guys, Darcy here, and today we're going to talk about how you can record through AU plugins when you're in Luna. Let's jump into it. All right, let's jump into this one. It should be fairly quick, okay? So we have the track here open for recording, okay? We have a Neve preamp in here, and we want to record through some form of auto tune, very common, obviously, for a lot of people these days. You can see that on this track, I have a version of auto tune real time, which is enabled. And we also have another uh, third party plugin, Waves uh, Real Tune or Tune Real Time, sorry. And it's not enabled right while this track's set to record. Now, why is that? Okay. You can see up here in the top right corner of this plugin, there is a, a little icon for the accelerated real time monitoring. This basically means that this plugin, because it's made by Universal Audio or part of Universal Audio, it records through, like, say, my Apollo Twin or whatever rack mount you have, and it can do real time processing. So that's the whole idea of the ARM is real time processing, you know, before it hits computer, so there's no latency. But what if you do want to record, you're fine with the latency, you know, whatever, you're good with it, and you want to record with, say, for instance, the Waves one, because maybe that's what your client wants, okay? Come up here to the top where you have all your little, you know, options, and where it says toggle arm mode, turn that off. Now, you know, I'm going to, say, remove the, this autotune, and now this one's ready to go. Now, you're going to have some form of latency, and whatever that is, you know, you have to work with that and compensate with that but you can do that, right? So you can do your regular processing through your preamp and whatever record effects like a compressor, and then you can still monitor in your ears with whatever latency comes through with you know the third-party plugins. And if I, again, re-enable this, it won't be available to me. And then my options are to use the, say for instance, the Auto-Tune Real-Time or the newer version, uh, whatever one you got, you can use that if you want that real-time processing, that, that quality that comes with it. But again, this all comes down to preference and, you know, whatever works for you. So you have that option. Just remember up here in the top, the toggle, the R mode, and you can have uh, the choices available to you. If you found this helpful, leave a comment. Let me know. Uh, if you've got any questions, let me know about those two. Be glad to jump on them. Otherwise, have yourself a good day.